Here is how we build a concrete tank stand or foundation for these GRP tanks. We consider these three measurements here. One, the tank stand should be of minimum thickness 300 mm. The distance required from between the tank and the bottom should be at least 500 mm to give enough space for tank installation, maintenance and repair. Three, the distance from each concrete stand to another should be 1 meter center to center. Therefore, from this center here to this center here is 1 meter. Same as for from this center here to this center here and also 1 meter for all these stands. This brings us to the question of what should be the length and width of the entire structure and how many stands are we supposed to raise for different tank sizes. The answer is quite simple. Each concrete stand should be 1 meter center to center away from the other. Therefore, if our GRP tank is 2 meters, it means we are supposed to have 3 concrete stands. For a 3 meter GRP tank, we raise 4 stands. For a 4 meter GRP tank, we raise 5 stands, as simple as that, since the spacing between each stand is 1 meter. The other question is, what is the length and width of the entire structure? Along the length, we get the tank length plus 300 millimeters, and along the width, we get the tank width plus 400 millimeters. For example, if the tank is 4 meters along the length, in 3 meters along the width, the external distance for the structure will be 4.3 meters along the length and 3.4 meters along the width. We add these extra distances to give the tank enough and strong base where to sit. We build these concrete stands in 10 easy steps. The first step is to set out and excavate for the mud or raft foundation. Consider adding 300 mm along the length and along the width on top of the external distances. Excavate up to 600 mm below the ground. Step 2 is to cast a 50 mm thick grade 15 concrete blinding with mixed ratio 1, 3 to 6. That is 1 part of cement, 3 parts of sand and 6 parts of aggregates. The third step is to do steel fixing for the raft foundation. Consider Y12 or T12 steel bars at a spacing of 150mm center to center for all reinforcements. Fix steel for the stands and for our case here, we consider the total concrete stand height as 1.6 meters. 600 millimeters for the base below the ground and 1 meter to be above the ground. The stand should be at least 300 millimeter thick. The fourth step is to cast a 600 millimeter thick concrete of grade 25 for the raft foundation. Use mix ratio 1 to 1 and a half to 3. That is one part of cement, one and a half parts of sand, and three parts of aggregates. Step five is to do formwork for the stands. Give the stands enough support to be able to have straight stands after deshattering. Step six is to cast a 300 millimeter thick concrete of grade 25 to the stands. Consider mix ratio one to one and a half to three. That is one part of cement, one and a half sand, and three parts of aggregates. Step seven involves deshattering the form work and rendering the surfaces of the stands and also the exposed surfaces of the base. You may also add a near finishing or what we call a cement paste on top of the rendered surface to give a smooth surface finish like this. Step 8 is to do back filling and ensuring that the whole area around the site is clean. Step 9 is to fix the tanks, fix them properly and do necessary plumbing fittings. The tenth step is to build a fence around the GRP tank area for security reasons. Those are the 10 steps you go through when building concrete stands for GRP tanks. I hope you get something from it. That's the end of our today's video. Be sure to watch this video on the left about how to install a steel stand tower for HD water tanks. Also watch this video on the right about how to build a strong brick wall base for HDPE water tanks. Endeavor to watch these two videos. Thank you so much for watching.